good well not really good morning but uh, it's good to be back in Nürburgring and like I promised to you in yesterday's video today well first I'm visited by Rantec uh, by Lucas from Rantec and we are going to Rantec and we're gonna tell you about their 2018 plans more or less this car you've seen actually in last year's video with Boosted Boris hello Lucas how are you doing hey, how was everyone. your happy new year quite silent and uh, yeah easy going <laughs> yeah that's uh, completely opposite of uh, yeah, how your cars are that's what are. I thought this is why I didn't come with you <laughs> No, I want to say that's completely opposite of how your cars are. Oh, the cars are. Sorry. Yeah. Then. Okay. <laughs> so, since we're already in this car, what's the plan with this? The, the C? Uh, well, obviously, not really sure what to do with it. Uh, the plan is to keep it until April, I think. I may even have a buyer for it as is. Let's see. At the moment, uh, this is not something I'm really thinking about. I'm using the car, but there is no need for us to get a new C-Class, obviously, mm -hmm. because there haven't been so many changes. Like, yeah, there's a facelift model coming, and uh, there is the coupe version, but uh, still, I don't see the point getting a new C-Class. Instead, um, we are focusing more on the new E-Class now, mm -hmm. which is, uh, well, yeah, let's say a similar engine. Uh, now we have already up to 800 horsepower street legal um, for the new e-class available and street legal we're talking german terms here yes, so it's german a, terms. so it's a tv uh, and like everything but yeah yeah emissions test is uh, tested um tv paperwork included and everything yeah. yeah that's good uh what about the new clas do you have any plans for that uh, i'm not sure yet because you know it's not coming out as a um, amg version so well, yeah, not a proper AMG with mm -hmm. eight. Obviously, this is what they say. So it's going to be the straight six, or what was it going to be? Uh, I think for now it's the V6 by turbo. But to okay. be honest, I didn't really care much about this car for mm -hmm. now. Obviously, yeah, we already have a new E-Class um, estate. You call it T model. Um, Do you have car? it? I haven't seen it. Yeah, well, it's not here at the moment oh, okay. because the customer is using it mm. uh, his car was delayed so uh, okay. we gave it to him but yeah. yeah we have it it's my E63 obviously <laughs> <laughs> yeah um, referring to the license plate yes yeah <laughs> as always the A45 you still gonna keep it for a while for a while yeah, yeah. let's see I mean obviously next year there will be the A or Rebel, whatever it will be, let's say A45 or whatever. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure about uh, the exact the name. Exact name. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. They're gonna use for it. Mm -hmm. Obviously, the the proper AMG, like the 45 or 50, whatever the name will be, uh, will not come out before um, 2019. I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then you still have the old CLS as well, or no? This is uh, this was just sold. Okay. So th this car is gone. the prototype development car that that one. You had two, right? Or uh, or am I confusing things now? No, we just had one CLS. Oh, okay. The shooting brake. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This car. That, yeah. That's that's gone now. Mm -hmm. Now and for the major changes to tell you and uh, announcements. So we all are familiar with this building. You must be, especially for the old followers of the vlog, because I had my temporary office here uh, when I was camping at Atomic when uh, Apex was still being built. And you have also obviously the huge Rentec sign there. But as of from 2018, you're moving in here, or you already moved in here. Yeah, basically we are uh, just right now in the process of moving in. Mm -hmm. So. Uh... And there is something special about this building. Yeah, it's quite special. So uh, let's say we are uh, writing history here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because AMG has been in this building for many, many years. Yeah. And uh, yeah. So everyone who has watched well, my videos and also mostly actually Shmi's videos and all the people who find car spotting important and are really impressed by the fact of prototypes. And when they c come here and you have all those camouflaged AMGs, that was this particular building and AMG is now moved somewhere opposite the street yeah uh, it's basically across the old building where we were mm -hmm. which is the former Bridgestone unit mm -hmm. because Bridgestone sold it mm -hmm. to AMG so they just moved out okay so we'll obviously we'll still have lots of AMG prototype cars yeah. 
Um, and speaking of AMG cars, another big announcement is the car for the 2018, the GTR. So you have it here inside? Yeah, finally. Yeah, let's have a quick. Finally, we have it. Tom, tom, tom. <laughs> well, this doesn't look as if AMG was here. I like how everyone is covering their tracks. Ooh. <laughs> That's yeah. very cool. Well, let me say this, uh, don't be alarmed by the looks of it, obviously. You're like, just moving in, yeah. right? We're just moving in, so we're sorting stuff but out. But I'm sure like everyone even like wants to see all the stuff that you have here, <laughs> especially there. What engine is this? It's obviously a, a, like V8 That's AMG. It's a 4 liter M177 um, out of a C63. This engine is in the process to be built to, to get 800 horsepower. Okay. Uh, well, while we are at it, what do you do to an engine to get this amount of horsepower? Well, the C-Class is uh, replacing the uh, rods and the pistons, mm -hmm. mainly with some other small changes I don't want to basically name it. Yeah, of course. But yeah. uh, it's just a small modification, but a complete engine needs to be mm -hmm. uh, taken apart. And um, as for this um, E63, you can go with 800 horsepower now without uh, any modifications to the... Wow, interrupts. that's actually very Although impressive. It's basically the same engine mm -hmm. itself, the block and everything, but uh, yeah. But they, they use better well, pistons and... Yeah, obviously runs, right? because the engine comes with more power from mm -hmm. the rear. Really. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, that's very good, very interesting to see. Um, well, let's move to the main <laughs> star of today's show, well, probably. Um, well. Obviously, by now, I shouldn't tell you what a GTR is, how much horsepower it has, and this and that and that, because it's, uh, it's obviously a new car, but everyone... Well, okay, well, a quick recap of the numbers. Quick recap is it's 585 PS, which mm -hmm. is uh, like 570-something mm -hmm. horsepower. Mm -hmm. uh, to be quite exact, uh, I... Yeah, well, 575 or something. Mm -hmm. uh, when you put it on the dyno, it's slightly above 600 PS actually, mm -hmm. in stock form already. So. Uh, and again, just to, to explain, uh, some people think that it has to do with like taxes or insurance reasons that manufacturers uh, well put um, lower numbers, but it's actually because of uh, they want to have all over the world the minimal well the number that they say it should be also if you're gonna drive somewhere in South Africa or, or somewhere in Africa with very bad fuel um, then you're gonna have the same amount that they advertise which is in this case 585 and here in Germany with the good fuel in uh, V power or 102 even you get obviously more which is yeah. uh, which is good now the main interesting bit for me and I guess my audience as well uh, is it interesting for people to move from a GTS that you have to a GTR and the most important point is obviously what are the plans for the car yeah, first question, or the answer to the first question would be, uh, it depends on the GTS you have. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is a special one with bucket seats, which you normally don't get in a GTS. Mm -hmm. uh, when it comes to this specific car, um, I don't think it makes that much sense if it's already converted with more power and so far and so forth. Yeah, but this, it doesn't come from the factory yeah, exactly. like that. It's something you built yourself, so you put the amazing Rentec body kit on the time. I'm still really, like, I really like it. It's 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 great. The aerodynamic elements. It's it's not rice like you could have. It's you purely about performance, and it's amazing. So yeah, bucket seats. Uh, you had also roll bar in the back, I yeah, believe. Yeah, um, exactly. You also did something to the engine yeah, yeah. mapping. Now, so now it's uh, with uh, 730 horsepower. So it's actually obviously even more than a yeah. GTR. This yeah. is why I think we need to go with 800 horsepower here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, to answer this question, if you do all those mods, you actually don't need a GTR. Or actually, if we may say so, if someone wants a GTR but cannot get, get one because of the delivery, they can, but they have a GTS, they could actually come yeah. have something similar by contacting you. Exactly. In this case. Um, and this is what also happens uh, that people are trying to keep their GTS, mm -hmm. maybe even because they know or rumors are there will be a GTRS or Black Series coming out. Mm -hmm. so they say, okay, I don't want to have a GTR um, and uh, we'll be waiting for, uh, yeah, whatever version above the GTR is coming mm -hmm. and keep the GTS in stock and do some modifications. So uh, I think the main difference is will you use GTS on a track or not? If you just 
drive it on the street, on the road, mm -hmm. it's basically like driving the same car. Yeah. It's, you know, if you put it in sport mode, uh, not, not in sport mode, if you uh, keep it in, in uh, comfort mode, it's like driving the same car. To be yeah. Honest. From the inside, it's the same. Mm -hmm. I mean, obviously, depending on the interior package you have chosen, if you mm -hmm. have a controller or not, it's really just... Uh, yeah, yeah. Case, that's a very long, detailed answer, and uh, that's what we like to hear. Uh, so, what's regarding the plans? Because... Well, you have this, which is already more in horsepower. You're going to get to the, you said, probably around 800. Yeah. Obviously, with great power comes great responsibility. So, example, uh, on this, also, we can see that you have bigger brakes. Uh, so, what is, like, the total model package that you have planned for the GTR? Um, for the GTR, um, obviously, we need to modify the brakes. This is also why we have uh, chosen not to go with the carbon ceramics. Mm -hmm. They don't work that well on the racetrack especially when you go to a, let's say, GP circuit. Yeah. On the Dodge Live, it's a different story. The main issue with the GTR is really the brake cooling. Mm -hmm. They don't have any. That's really like, no one can understand this. And I mean, I'm, I'm a big fan of AMGs, obviously. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But this is something which is completely not understandable from my point of view, that there is no additional, uh, let's say, air scoop or whatever. Mm -hmm forwarding some fresh air to the discs and, and calipers. Mm -hmm. So this car will be fitted with our brake upgrade. Mm -hmm. uh, so additional cooling, different brake disc, obviously uh, also modified calipers and, and uh, other pads, mm -hmm. uh, hoses, mm -hmm. which is understood. And this is also a very important point. I always say, uh, a lot of people ask what's the most important bit when you decide to do track driving. Whether it's a shitbox or an AMG GTR in this case, always make sure that your brakes, all the safety equipment is top notch. And in this case, it can prevent, well, nasty accidents in terms of like brake fading. Yeah. And it will also increase the, the lifetime of the components. And it, it's probably also a relatively very cheap upgrade, but it's going to get a lot in return. So if you have a AMG GTR or maybe GTS, does GTS suffer from the same issue? Uh, yeah, it, it does. Yeah, okay, so uh, make sure to check out uh, what Rentec has for you. Um, yeah, okay, the brakes, and what's the next bit? Well, the next bit is uh, a different uh, wheel, um, which is going to be a similar uh, wheel to the one we already had on the GTS. But yeah. It's not on the car at the moment, but we have this wheel there. Yeah, we've seen it in the earlier videos, but yeah. for, for the new audience on my channel, it's that. Uh, I presume it's lighter. It's even lighter than uh, the GTR wheel, mm -hmm. although this is already quite a uh, light wheel. Mm -hmm. Many people don't like uh, the looks of it with the, you know... Brushed yeah, rim. Well, exactly. Yeah, yeah, this yeah. is, I think, why, uh, why uh, Shmi got his wheels repainted and completely black, because he didn't like this either. Yeah. That's a very light wheel. Obviously, uh, our wheels will have a different offset, a mm -hmm. slightly different size, but still we want to uh, go with the same tires. Okay. Suspension? Any mods to that? Uh, yeah. We have a special suspension which has been already uh, prepared um, during the development time of the GTS. Okay. But uh, this will be a step later at mm -hmm. some point. But there are some, let's say, also small bits we're going to do with this car. For example, which is still something I don't understand, why this always comes in troll. <laughs> yeah, it's the same question you can ask regarding the rims. But I mean, the rims are a different story because you can get also black wheels or something like this on, uh, on a GTR, mm -hmm. which, yeah, basically is, is a black wheel. But um, if you go and have a night package on the car, so everything is gloss black, like for example this bit, which is also available in chrome, uh, then why don't they <laughs> offer an option for this? I mean, yeah. the cause is it's a car with keyless go. So always when you have keyless go for a car, you have this chrome thing, but it's possible to do it in black because we've done it so many times on the cars and yeah, mm -hmm. you just need some special paint, let's say, mm -hmm. that it sticks to the surface. Mm -hmm. But that's all. Yeah. 
So that's one of the very first modifications. Of <laughs> optical modifications. Yeah. Arrow, is there anything possible to do to that? Are you going to do? Not much. Not much, Not yeah. Much. Because it has active arrow in the front, mm -hmm. it has a proper working diffuser, and uh, yeah, we have some bits already prepared. Luckily, uh, this time, our colleagues in, uh, in the US had a car, it's already scanned, there are drawings, there are mm -hmm. printed parts, uh, which we are going to fit on the car mm -hmm. as well. Mm -hmm. But uh, I don't think it's going to happen before uh, we actually bring the car, I think, to, to Monaco to show it there. Okay. So the, the finished product will be displayed, uh, what is it, March, uh, May? End of April. Actually. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. At Top Marks. Cool, cool. Nice, nice. And what's the... Um, are you gonna... Well, I know we're not allowed to talk about lap times, but are you... <laughs> Do you have an estimate or you have a goal to achieve something or you... Because, of course, you can scream like you say, oh, I have 800 horsepower, but uh, we're all about performance. Let's see. We're definitely gonna fit the biggest servos to the car we can, we can fit at the mm -hmm. moment mm -hmm. without uh, going too crazy. Um, maybe we'll just start with 730 horsepower, mm -hmm. which is now on the GTS. Obviously, there are going to be some nice tests on the notch lifer. Mm -hmm. And uh, what I can tell you is already that this car is able to do the same lap time like this in stock form. Yeah. So this 711 with mm -hmm. the GTS is possible mm -hmm. when it's modified. Yeah. Uh, obviously, more power, better brakes and better aero. Mm -hmm. So, for example, the GTS suffers from uh, not enough downforce to the front. Mm -hmm. This is why the splitter we have is helping a lot. Mm -hmm. And this is also why AMG has decided to go with a active aero part. Mm -hmm. Now you already mentioned that, well, the, the beginning of this video, that the GTS in your trim is similar or actually maybe even better than the GTR. Um, but how is it price-wise comparison? I mean, it depends on the base price of the GTS. Actually. Okay. So if you want to have a nice track GTS, you don't need to go with an edition one like mm -hmm. this car was. Yeah. So uh, I think the new price of this car was like seven one seventy five or something mm -hmm. with German VAT. Uh, this this price uh, is roughly under two hundred mm -hmm. on this specific car. So if you go with ceramic brakes, which I wouldn't. Uh, go with uh, for track usage, but uh, let's say if you say under 200, obviously it's more than this car as an edition one. Mm -hmm. But now you can get the used GTS uh, for under 100, like really 85, 90 thousand euros already. Wow! And uh, again in Germany, because I'm sure like the, a lot of other countries they still have well the appreciation, depreciation taxes yeah. and all stuff. But yeah, it's just surprising. So it's half the money of a GTR. Yeah, and uh, if you go with some extra bits, you can let's say spend twenty thousand on on this car, and mm. it will be definitely a lot faster already. Mm. Wow! Also an option. Yeah, I mean, uh, it's not that we don't want to sell parts for the GTR, but there are enough customers yeah, yeah. who already have the GTS. Mm -hmm. Say, I've been driving it for one two years. I really like the car. Let's do some upgrades on it. Mm -hmm. And for the same reason, like you mentioned earlier, why? people would not buy a GTR because anticipation of a GTRS or the Black Series or yeah. whatnot. Or you can keep this as a collector's car because is it a limited run, a GTR? No, it's not. It's, it's not. Only, it's only limited by the production production numbers of the year they have for all the GT versions they have. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure about the numbers, but it's just like, yeah, there is a GT, GTS, GTC, GTC Roadster, uh, and there is a GTR. Mm -hmm. Maybe I forgot another model. No, I think it's five at the moment. Mm -hmm. So uh, it's all the same production line. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, depending on how many orders they get for which model, yeah. that's that's uh, the limitation or yeah. the limiting factor at the moment. Mm -hmm. uh, obviously, then uh, at a later point, then uh, there will be uh, a limitation. Uh, yeah. Yeah, when it comes to Black Series or whatever. Yeah. 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 And then it will be exciting to see what you're going to do to that. <laughs> yeah, let's see. I mean, obviously, this is a good start for now. We've been waiting uh, for a long time uh, to, to get this car, finally. Mm -hmm. uh, I would have been happy to get it already six uh, or seven months before, but uh, for whatever reason, many cars have been really delayed. And, uh, yeah. Hopefully for the good reason. Yeah, <laughs> I, I don't really know. No yeah. one really knows. Obviously, yeah, yeah. Well, someone must know, but... Yeah. <laughs>
I guess this summarizes pretty nicely. You can show the interior shot, but... Uh, I think the interior is very similar to what uh, Shmi has. Yeah, with the yellow stitching. That's yeah. the only thing that I remember from his car, actually. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Nice. What's the mileage on this one? Oh, it's brand new, right? Yeah, yeah. It's N right. 91. Wow. Yeah, it's not even registered yet. Okay. We're gonna register it, I think, next week. Do you need to break it in, run it in before yeah, you... Yeah, 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 yeah. so... How much is it? Two and a half thousand? Three thousand? Uh, to be honest, it's uh, 1,500 kilometers, so 1,000 miles mm -hmm. um, to really go slowly. And I know that many people think, yeah, it's not necessary with a modern car. Mm -hmm. But the truth is, it's not really the engine. Mm -hmm. The engine is not a limiting factor here. Uh, it's like the really proper mechanical moving parts, like a diff and mm -hmm. the gearbox, which needs to be uh, handled softly at the beginning. You, you can really push it after, let's say, um, 3,000 kilometers. Well, yeah, it's uh, it turned out a very long and mostly important for me informative video. I'm very much excited to see what's gonna be done to this car. Well, we already know what's gonna be done to this car, but to actually see and experience all those upgrades uh, for that, you need to stay tuned for my channel, but if you don't like me, you can always just follow social media of Rentec in the video description. And uh, like I said, if you own a GTS or a GTR, and uh, it's very wise to get some optional the brake upgrades, or even if you want to have eight, close to 800 horsepower, make sure to contact Rentec. And also if you have just some, you also do like non AMGs, right? If you have like a, whatever, like the, the C300, 450 or, well, let me say this. Uh, at the moment, we have been really focusing on AMG cars mm -hmm. because uh, we want to change it in, in the future. Because more and more inquiries uh, reach us where people say, I have an A250, mm -hmm. A200, whatever, can you offer something for it as well? So that's the plans. Yeah, so again, make sure to stalk this man with questions. <laughs> Don't ask him if he wants to join you on New Year's Eve because he's, unlike his cars, he's pretty boring. <laughs> <laughs> Today's main subject of the video is Tom's new ride, which is the BMW E46 